It's almost tragic and heartbreaking to see these two squabbling in this way. <laughs> the Prime Minister was so disappointed in the NDP leader's flip-flop on carbon tax for heat, but the good news for the Prime Minister is the NDP leader has flip-flop on his flip-flop and now supports the Prime Minister's plan to quadruple the tax. This, with two million Canadians, a record-smashing number going to a food bank. Will the Prime Minister create another carve-out on the carbon tax for farmers so that Canadians can afford to eat. Yeah. Here, here. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. We know, Mr. Speaker, that farmers are always focused on being good stewards of the land, and we are working with them in investing, in supporting them in many different ways to ensure that we can continue to put good quality, affordable food on people's uh, tables right across the country, and that's what we're going to continue to do, Mr. Speaker. Uh, farmers and, indeed, Canadians from coast to coast to coast know that as we fight climate change, as we put more money in people's pockets uh, every three months with hundreds of dollars with the pollution price uh, uh, return. We're going to continue to step up in building a strong economy for tomorrow, something the Conservatives simply don't understand. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister is quadrupling his carbon tax on the farmers who make the food, quadrupling the tax on the truckers who ship the food, therefore quadrupling the tax on all who buy the food. Good news is there is a common-sense Conservative bill that's passed through the House and in the Senate where the Prime Minister's senators are holding it up. Will the Prime Minister once again cave and allow another carve-out on the carbon tax for farmers, yes or no? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Many people living in rural areas across the country, including many farmers, continue to be stuck heating their homes with home heating oil. Uh, it is dirtier, it is more expensive, uh, and uh, it is something uh, that is expensive to replace. That is why, Mr. Speaker, we are stepping up with measures that are going to deliver heat pumps to families right across the country. The 1.2 million households across this country and every part of this country relying on home heating oil so we can help them fight climate change and save money at the same time. That's our plan. The Conservatives have no plan. The Honourable, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Our common sense plan is found in Bill C-234, which would give another carve-out to farmers on the carbon tax. And the Prime Minister has claimed that he won't cave again. He says there will be no more carve-outs. We're asking him to keep in mind there are two million people who have to go to the food bank every month because of his policy. Will he put his ego and pride aside and ask his Liberal senators to pass Common Sense Bill C-324 to axe the tax and create a carbon tax carve-out for our farmers. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, farmers across this country know the costs of climate change. They know the costs of extreme weather events, whether it be floods or fires or more intense storms. Farmers are worried about their future, worried about their kids' future, worried about the country's future. That's why we put forward a plan uh, that is reducing our emissions and growing our economy at the same time while putting more money in Canadians' pockets. The Conservatives have no plan to fight climate change, no plan for the future of the economy, no plan for future generations. We will continue to do what's necessary to support Canadians, including farmers, long into the future. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The Prime Minister won't answer a simple question. It's about the common sense Conservative bill to carve out farming from the carbon tax. But I understand why he feels he's in a bind. Because his Environment Minister said, as long as I am Environment Minister, there will be no more exceptions to carbon pricing. That implies that he would resign if there was another carve out. Will the Prime Minister sacrifice his crazy carbon tax minister and support our common sense bill to take the tax off?
If I could. Uh, all right. The colleagues, colleagues, all colleagues should know that we should not, we cannot use language uh, which calls into question the, uh, the character of honorable members, individual members. I hear an explanation from the Leader of the Opposition, uh, and I will repeat that so that we can clarify the record. The Leader of the Opposition uh, made a correction saying that he was referring to the policy and not the person. So, but that's, that's certain. And I, th I thank the Honourable Leader of the Opposition for making that clarification, because otherwise that language would clearly be unparliamentary. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I think we'll all be waiting for a long list of corrections uh, and factual errors from the uh, Leader of the Official Opposition if uh, we go down this road. The fact of the matter, Mr. Speaker, for millions of Canadians who understand that climate change poses an existential threat to our country, to our well-being, to our economy, they need action. They expect a government with a plan. They expect a government to deliver on that plan. And that is exactly what we have been doing for eight years. Meanwhile, the only plan the Conservatives put forward are cuts. Cuts to services, cuts to program, cuts to rebates for Canadians, and yes, cuts to the most successful measure to reduce uh, climate change emissions that this country has ever seen. When is he going to come forward with a real plan? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. It is crazy to quadruple the carbon tax on our farmers when two million people are going to a food bank every month. So now the Minister of the Environment has threatened to resign if there are new carbon tax carve-outs. We have a common sense Conservative bill that would carve out the carbon tax for farmers. All it needs is for the Prime Minister to give his Senators permission to pass it. Will the Prime Minister please just cave at least one more time and allow a carve-out on the carbon tax for our farmers, yes or no? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, I won't use the word crazy, but I will say it is deeply, deeply irresponsible for the Conservative Party of Canada to continue to deny uh, that taking action against climate change is important. To continue to deny that climate change is a real threat to Canadians and to our economy. Uh, the fact is, Mr. Speaker, we have put forward measures that both fight climate change and put more money back in the pockets of 8 out of 10 Canadian families, and we're going to continue to fight climate change because uh, the cost of inaction against climate change is far more uh, than the cost of action. His carbon tax isn't working. He's missed every single target. He's on track to miss his 2030 targets, and Canada is ranked 58th out of 63 on climate action. Mr. Speaker, the question is about our farmers. There's a bill, C234, a common sense conservative bill to carve out farmers from the carbon tax. All it needs is for the Prime Minister to give his Senators permission to adopt this carve-out. Will the Prime Minister stand up to his Environment Minister and stand up for farmers and let Bill C-234 pass and allow this carve-out to go ahead? Here, here, here. <laughs> the Right Honourable Prime Minister. I will admit, it doesn't happen often, but every now and then, I am a little bit envious of the position that the Leader of the Opposition finds himself in, of being able to criticize, on the one hand, that we aren't doing enough to fight climate change, and then, on the other hand, say uh, that we need to stop everything we're doing to fight climate change. Uh, Fortunately, Mr. Speaker, Canadians are smarter than he takes them for. Canadians know the only way to build a strong economy for the future is to fight climate change at the same time. That is exactly what we are doing. And until he puts forward a plan that is responsible and real on fighting climate change and growing the economy, Canadians will continue to dismiss him. That's right.